Hey everybody, Engine Doc back with you. Got another engine to look at here. This one's made by Lawson and it is a milking machine engine. Ran a milking machine vacuum pump and it's uh, been modified. It originally was on a D Laval uh, milking machine outfit and uh, over the years uh, it has been repurposed saved from the junk so it seems to be uh, uh, kind of an unusual little piece kind of interesting and uh, subject of, uh, of a review here so we'll get on with it here shortly most everybody's familiar with Harry's engine site or a smokestack anyway I got on there and I found uh, the picture of the outfit uh, here's what it uh, used to or supposed to look like when it was new uh, the vacuum pump uh, over here on this side and uh, this tank here is interesting the fuel tanks underneath but the cooling tanks interesting in that uh, while they were milking the engine was running and uh, they were milking the cows and that cooling water was uh, was being warmed up by the engine and uh, at the end of the milking session they would use the hot water in that tank to clean the milking equipment so that was pretty efficient use of resources down in an old barn where there was no uh, electricity or uh, running water so thanks Harry putting that on your website if you got any problem with me showing it on this video give me a give me a jingle and I'll uh, I'll take it down but I uh, sure appreciate everything you do so back to the engine as you can tell from the pictures that uh, I just showed you uh, the tank is long gone somebody's fabricated a tank and and uh, I've been doing a little testing on the engine I bought it as a running engine but boy it just barely would run and it would not sustain uh, its own uh, action for very long so uh, somebody's added a lawnmower fuel tank over here and it's just a it's a it's a mess but you know hey it, it's it got someone by and got them power they've added this huge belt pulley and uh, that will be uh, probably taken off here soon um, so a quick tour of the engine. This is the governor housing here. This uh, operates the uh, carburetor linkage to adjust the speed of the engine automatically. Uh, the original engine did not have this magneto on here. Uh, this magneto has been added. Its advanced curve is way different than what this engine needs. Um, it was way out of time when I got it, therefore it wouldn't uh, wouldn't stay running. It was firing way late, so I had to uh, had to adjust it. I just pulled this uh, this cover off here and uh, would just uh, advance the gear uh, a, a tooth at a time until I and and try to start it and run it and see how it acted until I got it to where it was uh, happy. And it runs. Uh, it's got low compression probably going to tear into it. It's got noisy roller bearings in it. These engines have roller bearings and I'm going to tear into the uh, crankcase and see if I can get some bearing numbers, put some bearings in it, bore it, ring it, whatever has to be done to get the compression back up. Uh, nice homemade muffler. Not. But, uh, you know, hey, it is what it is. Got an oil gauge. The oil gauge works. Um, <laughs> pretty cool really but uh, this uh, is just unusual enough it's got my interest I've got some plans for it and uh, if the plans uh, uh, work out I'll make another video but uh, anyway uh, one other note the rockers here's a piece of work now this shows you what people will do to go through what people will go through to 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 get an engine running these 
push rods are homemade. Uh, somebody did a, a great job on them. And the rocker assembly, the rocker shaft, the rocker stud, the rockers themselves, and the adjusters are all handmade. And when I first looked at the engine, I thought, well, somebody's welded up these rockers on here. And I, after uh, examining them closer, they're completely fabricated from scratch. So whoever did this did a great job. However, part of the part of the running problem of the engine was uh, the overlap and the timing wasn't quite right on the valves. I couldn't get the timing exactly right because uh, these uh, rockers weren't made exactly right. I don't think he probably had an original to go by. But good old eBay. Uh, you know, you can find anything on eBay. Um, found uh, a good set of rockers. Cleaned them up, put them on there, and complete with push rods. And the, that got my valve timing correct. The overlap is correct. Open and closing times are correct now. And the lift is correct, so, so the valves are okay. Um, this is a no-no, but it's temporary. Uh, the pin, it was just about to drop this exhaust valve, so the pin was, was rotted off. So temporarily I put uh, cotters on there. And uh, that's about it. It's got an old blue crown plug in it. And I looked through my inventory and just happened to find a brand new one. So we're going to put it on there. This one's fouled. So we'll continue when we have more information.